I'd say this basically confirms that Black Asta is going to be coming for the half anniversary, which is insane. They're doing little things like this, which I think really just makes the difference. And overall, it's a nice little graphic. It's nice on the eyes for sure. You've got a lot of reds in here, some yellows. And this was posted, or not posted, but it was. it's the banner for the KR side. Usually they put the current content as their banner on their YouTube and all that stuff. You could probably, you'd be able to see it probably if you go to the YouTube also. Maybe. Is it there? Yeah, so it's there too. And I mean, to me, to me, it confirms this guy, right? That's that's what it's kind of confirming. It's confirming that we're going to be getting Black Austin, half anniversary, just little, little things like this makes up the hype. Now, what we could really just tell in terms of, for me, a teaser, it just makes sense, first of all, that we're getting Black Austin now because we've got Witch Queen and um, Hatred Fauna. And now we're missing like Ladros, the Cat Vanessa, uh, what's it called? Ruse, Ruse, and also um, Black Asta, right? So I could really see them doing Black Asta because first of all, you got the five leaf clover, and you can see it's kind of decaying here a bit. So that's like hit number one. Hit number two, it's it's just red in the back. So you know what is red? Asta, like he's just he's red to me, right? So yeah, and then there's also the fact that there's like the blood type of thing, which could definitely be when Witch Queen is controlling Asta's blood. Or just I, it was something like that. Y'all could like fix me up on that in the comments, but yeah. So what's funny is that it's a, it's 11:30, which is the day Global comes out, also. So uh, yeah, no, that that's gonna be funny. So to me, they basically just said, yeah, Black Ost is coming, but it sucks we didn't get the patch notes yesterday. I did quote retweet uh, one of my posts saying that patch notes was gonna be yesterday, but um, then they they changed the schedule again because for season five and six. It was Friday morning, and currently it's Friday at 3.30 p.m. for me, so yeah, we're not getting Black Asta's information now. The only thing is, usually we don't get pickup information until like a while from now. Oh, let me not show you guys this yet. Uh, usually they don't give us the information until a while from now, but if we go back all the way till Season 3, the only time we got pickup information was, uh, I think it was end July? End July, right? End July, so it should be... No, not that. Let's try to find it. Update. Yeah, it should be this. So, it showed us this, but it also showed if we went down, like a teaser for Julius. Where is it? Hold on, let me try to find it. Yeah, so it was in the patch notes, which I'm going to guess we're going to get... Or not patch notes, but developer notes. So maybe we're going to get a dev notes for this one, because the last one was beginning November. So to me, it would make sense. And if you scroll all the way down, this is when they confirmed the seasonal units. And then afterwards, we saw Julius. So, yeah. The way that they show this is basically how it was for Fest, right? So, I could see Asta coming uh, or just being teased with the patch notes, even though pickups usually aren't. Now, Julius was a limited Fest where he was not put on the other banners on, like, Unfeatured. And same will go for Asta, most likely. And that, that's going to make sense. Now, if he's beginning season or mid-season, to me, he's going to be mid-season because of the fact that he is um, a pickup and every pickup so far has been mid-season. But if there's no seasonals, then maybe we're not going to get uh, seasonals. Then Black Austin might be beginning of the season. But I feel like it would make more sense if he is beginning of the season because of the fact it's Black Austin, it's half Annie. But it's also just, I could see it being mid-season. So in two weeks from now, technically on the 6th. No, wait, wait, wait. On the 13th. My bad, on the 13th. 13th, 14th is when I could see it. So yeah black asta is gonna be pretty hype i'm gonna guess he's gonna be like the unit right obviously people are very hyped for him my tweets for him overall if i'm gauging it from others just like i posted this 400 likes in four hours for me is very good and even just the clover 170 so people are very hyped for black asta right i'd say that he is that guy now besides just that they're gonna give us a bunch of pulls for black asta and also probably we're gonna need them uh, they're gonna for sure make Black Asta and anyone else who comes out during half Annie like busted as fuck. Especially when you consider Fauna didn't need any dupes for her to be that busted. Because she was at 109 speed without any dupes. And 109 speed is the highest speed. So first of all, obviously we're gonna need the pulls because, well, I mean, we got this. So the minute uh, half Annie starts, the minute season 7 comes out, we're gonna be getting uh, the Noel season. So we're gonna be able to get Noel again. And that's going to be very good. Uh, people who are going to return are going to be like, fuck, what do I summon on? Right? So to me, um, I'm going to say that it's going to be pretty, pretty crazy the next month.
Magic. So there's that. And then there's also this. So we get 30 pulls for free. Then we get, we have this so far. And then we also know of the seven day login. I want to talk about this first, that this should be a universal SSR dupe, which is insane. You're going to have a skill page choice uh, chooser, 12, a multi for free border. Um, you could choose an SSR probably from the base SSRs. And then you also have the top 10 selection summon here. So why this is so crazy is that if you're just starting off and you want Lotus and Mars, well, day one, you're getting this, right? Day one, you're going to be able to choose Lotus or Mars. And then you're going to be able to get the um, mage option on day three. Now, even better, uh, what's pretty cool is that obviously on your reroll multi, like day one, okay, day one, if you're starting a brand new account on JP, day one, you first off, you get your reroll multi and it's going to be Lotus or Mars. And then you're, you're going to have this multi and you can get multiple SSRs in this. It allows you to get, sorry, multiple SSR mages. Um, unlike the previous Gift of Julius, in which only one SSR mage definitely appeared, in this selective summon, you can receive the summon results according to probability, just like regular summon. Therefore, two or more SSR mage and skill pages can appear. So, you're going to be able to get multiple, which is great. But as a new account, you could get Lotus and Mars guaranteed day one. Because you get this plus your reroll multi already, which I'd say is very good. Then you get a free uh, SSR dupe. So, to me, because they're being so generous, um, we're going to be having to summon a lot. And considering for new players, they are trying to get people to summon. Because, like, Season 2 and 1 are both very good seasons still. Season 2, Noel, and then Season 1, Mimosa are, like, top-tier units still. Um, it's very cool. And Black Austin, man, he's, he's so cool. He's actually, like, sick as hell. So, yeah, no. Uh, half Annie is going to be crazy. My guess still, because of the fact that Witch Queen is... Um, a bleed unit first of all and like Asta is controlled by blood I feel like he's gonna have stuff to do with blood which is gonna be good and also the only thing is I'm a bit scared because of this passive other people have brought it up that if all allies have the red attribute grant the crimson blood buff to defender allies at the beginning of battle at the moment there's no good red defenders and there's no one that would make sense with witch queen in terms of cannon so to me it just makes sense it just logically makes sense within the um boundaries of this unit and like just the logistics that black austin might be a red defender or just red he's red at the bare minimum and he's a red defender um if if we're unlucky i would not like him to be but maybe they'll make him a crazy ass red defender the only thing is red defenders don't typically have that good a speed but they did give rodas the extra seven speed here that's just the thing is for for a fest unit that's a waste of a um a passive so we'll have to see what they do for that but I'm excited. I'm very excited. And also what's very cool is that it's going to be another physical attacker. The last one we got was Jack and he sucked. And the one before that was Keanu in season two, bro. No, by the way, Jack didn't suck. It's just that he wasn't crazy and he's not crazy, right? He's just, he's good. But we've gotten so little compared to magic attack. Like, okay, look from Jack to Asta and then from magic attack, it, it, like it's from Magna to Langris, right? So it's a lot more magic than attack. And getting an attack one is going to be pretty good. I'm going to have to build that set shit. I'm going to have to start rerolling uh, the substats. But yeah, uh, Red Asta is going to be good for the game. Black Asta, I should say. Black Asta is going to be good for the game. If we get patch notes tonight, that's going to suck. Because I think I already have three videos for today. Do I? Um, okay, actually, I'm going to... Yeah, no, that's going to suck. Because I'm going to have to post a fourth video. Ah, man. And yeah, it's just how YouTube works. It's a bit cringe, but... Uh, if you post like more than three videos, the fourth video doesn't really get their notifications pushed. But yeah, Black Asta is very hype and I just wanted to make a little video showing that they teased them in this. The five clovers, red and then the blood. So yeah, that's basically it. It's pretty much him guaranteed. See you guys in the next one. Peace.